Are you facing now a difficult time in life? Are you struggling with a big challenge and believing that you are unable to face it? Well, the first part of Deuteronomy 20 says that the Lord is much willing to help us. And He suggests us not to fear. He, actually, He commands us not to fear. Fear is something out of God's plan. He says, you should trust in me because my strength is far bigger than your strength. Actually, when you feel you are weak, then you are strong, says Paul. Then you can trust that I will do a miracle. If you think, if you believe you are able to do something, then the miracle will, will not be so evident. But when you are totally discouraged and you say, I will not be able to face that challenge, and then you kneel down and you pray, then the miracle will be totally evident. You will recognize that God's hands were there. So, but the second part of this chapter, God speaks about how to treat cities, cities that are close and cities that are far from you when you fight against them. So when you are fighting, if you were an Israelite, when the Israelites were fighting cities who were far from them, they could offer peace. But then they will need to ask them to pay, require them to pay tribute to them. And that's it. There are some other guidance here. How should they treat those cities which will be far? But for cities who would be closer to them, very near them, they should destroy completely, not to leave anything that breath that has breath in, in, in himself or itself or herself alive. And the reason is states here in verse 18, says, Lest they teach you to do according to all their abominations, which they have done for their gods, and you sin against the Lord your God. So here we find a very interesting principle about friendship with unbelievers. If you are able to influence them to God, then that friendship is desirable. We need to entertain friendship with unbelievers in order to bring them to God. But if you see that you are not able to influence them to God, then you are being influenced by them. And so that friendship will be dangerous unless you are openly trying to influence them to God and bringing them closer to God. If not, that friendship will be very, very dangerous. So that's why we must be very cautious, even more if we have small children, because they will also be influenced. And for, for the rest of their lives, there will be consequences on that. But we should develop friendship with unbelievers in order to influence them to God and to be very proactive in that. May the Lord use you as you become friend of those who have not yet a commitment with the Lord Jesus. And by your kindness, the way you treat them, they may be encouraged to decide for Christ and to be united to his people in the earth and to prepare for his second coming. May the Lord bless you today as you open yourself to out of your comfort zone to be friend of those who are still unbelievers and to offer Bible studies and to be close to them in order to lead them to Jesus. God bless you.